But comedy must be a tough career in 2023 with political correctness and cancel culture in overdrive when one joke can lead you to being cancelled. Legendary actor and comedian John Cleese put it best in a podcast last year. Have a listen. A lot of comedians now uh, are sitting there and when they think of something, they start thinking, oh, could I get away with that? I don't think so. So and so got into trouble when he said that or she said that. You see what I mean? And that's the death of creativity. Uh, so you find that comedians start moving into what are sort of safe areas. Like you can't really get cancelled these days for anything to do with sex, whereas that's exactly what you would have got cancelled for in the 60s. Yeah, safe areas for comedy, hey? Uh, that's a podcast with pictures. I'd call that a vodcast. Uh, Vince Sorrenti is one man who isn't afraid to tell it like it is. He's about to take his I'm Offended tour on the road again, and he joins me in the studio right now. Great to talk to you, Vince, uh, live and in the flesh in the studio. G'day, uh, Chris. Can I first start by... I, I, I promised my Uber driver I'd give him a shout-out. <laughs> Uh, little guy with an Irish accent, uh, Alan Joyce. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the new job, buddy. <laughs> Terrific. He'd just cancel all the jobs, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your trip to the CBD's been cancelled. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's no refund. Well, I did invite all the Qantas staff to my show. Uh, I invited 50 of them after we'd sold out. <laughs> Now, how are you going? I just uh, re refresh my memory today. But I mean, your stand-up comedy career has been huge in Australia. But you did that in New York yep. for a while before yep. you became a fixture on Australian television. You've written screenplays, starred in movies. You do a lot of corporate gigs around. But you're still going out there and taking this new show on the road. I've been talked back into it, Chris. I met a promoter last year and he said, oh, you're not doing enough public shows. You know, the youngies don't know who you are. So he's encouraged me to get out there. And it's been... A revelation. I absolutely love it, playing in some beautiful rooms like the State Theatre and we're selling out, so I couldn't be happier. Is it dangerous, though? Were you able to be pretty reckless 30 years ago? And as John Cleese says, now you have to be safe with your jokes because of cancel culture? Yeah, look, political correctness is good, but it's just it's an overreaction. I mean, the stuff that we were doing back then, you, you, you know... You don't feel comfortable doing it now, and, and rightly so. What was offensive then is offensive now. But it's just got, it's gone to the point where people are absolutely denying reality, you know, yeah. to be correct. I mean, Rishi Sunak, the British PM, at the Conservative Party conference, stood on stage and said, a man is a man and a woman is a woman. And that was considered brave. <laughs> you know, people go, oh, That's a radical wow. statement. Radical, yeah. Yeah, well, it's... Um... It is a problem when stating the, the obvious truth like that can get you into so much trouble. So how do you deal with it as a comedian? Do you censor your jokes compared to what you used to what used to joke about, or do you avoid special topics? No, the point. Now, I, look, I'm not trying to hurt anyone. Mm. I'm not trying to be offensive. I mean, I, the show's called "I'm Offended" because we're just trying to identify the sort of the general mood. Everyone's offended by something these days. The point I want to make is that we need to be able to talk about everything. This is why we have comedy, Chris. We mm. have comedy so we can cover the difficult issues, air the dirty linen. I mean, a, a comic should be able to say on stage what you're thinking but aren't brave enough to sort of air at a polite dinner party. That's Comedy is not the problem. Comedy is the solution. <laughs> yeah. You can't gag satire. It's... it's a, oh. Well, you, you can't. You shouldn't be able no. to, but they seem to be trying to do that. Yeah, well, see, now I, I have a, the younger comics these days have become so scared of this. People are afraid to go into certain subject areas. As John Cleese was just saying, you know, people don't talk about ethnicity anymore. People don't talk about uh, gender and sexuality. People don't talk about politics. It's too too scared. I met a young comic the other day. So, uh, he said he didn't like comedy. You know, I mean, <laughs> how, how, I'm offended by comedy. Seriously, how can you not like comedy? I mean, it's it's uh, you know it's it's a, it's a physical reaction. You're making yourself. It's but people are scared to broach certain... Sub and these are the subjects that need broaching more than ever. They sure are. But I suppose while people say that this, is, uh, this can be a have a dampening effect on comedy, it's comedians who are fighting back most. Well, I'm, th I'm thinking of, uh, of uh, David Brent and uh, Dave Chappelle Absolutely. and these people. Wonderful. They, they are just... They, they, I suppose they're rich enough not to worry about it, yeah. but they go hell for leather yeah. and just expose the hypocrisy here. Well, they're uncancelable. They're so yeah. big. But, I mean, for people getting to where they are, it is risky. It's a, it's, a, it's a potted road. So people have to be a bit more careful. But they're defeating the purpose of what comedy is there to do, and that is to tell the truth. One of the things that I've noticed over many, many years with uh, comedians, and it's become increasingly so, 
is when it comes to laughing at politics and politicians, and God knows we need to do that, yeah. they tend to only laugh at the conservatives. You know, the conservatives are fair game, as they should be. But there's got to be just as many jokes available for the, mate, for the Greens and, and the Labor Party, the lefties, surely. The Greens? I'll tell you what, mate. I'll, I'll, I remember when a Greenie was something you blew into a handkerchief. <laughs> You know, that, actually, we, we just got the green light on the AUKUS deal today in the US Congress. I mean, the Greens, you know, we've got the nuclear-powered subs, which have been built in Adelaide, by the way. Yeah, you, yeah. if you believe that... We, we I'll, stopped I'll making Holden you. Commodores in 2017. Because that was <laughs> too sophisticated. How are we going to nuclear subs? But the Greens wanted a solar-powered sub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sits on the surface for eight days charging and then goes in a full combat mode for eight minutes. That'll scare the crap out of the Chinese. Well, I joked to a Greens uh, senator once about uh, electric, you know, renewable electricity helicopters. That'll be the day. And then she sent me in a, a clipping where they're working on this. But, you know, I don't know whether I want to be up in that thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's funny. Yeah, so uh, your show plays up on these themes. You, you, you're tapping... Absolutely. Mate, oh, I'm just tapping into reality. You know, I'm the, no one's getting hurt. I mean, like... For, for, there are whole... When I was a young comic, ethnicity was a big thing. You know, we had this whole generation of, you know, these young wogs who were sort of, like, suddenly speaking out about Australia and, you know, that was... But we're not talking about the, the new ethnicities in the society. Yeah. These people feel ignored. I get people coming up to me, and I'm talking about Samoans, Nigerians, um, Indians, Chinese Australians. No one talks about them on stage. I got thanked by a group of Indian Australians the other day. Oh, thank you for bringing us up in your show. Yeah, because that's a very and good it's point. it's a very important thing for sort of getting to know each other. You know? Yeah, well, there's that whole wogs out of work and oh, everything, and that was, it, was all, it was all built on those sort of racial stereotypes and jokes, and, yeah, you can't mention that now. You can't I go dare you to yeah. go down that well, path. Well, I do, but I, right. I do it in a very innocent and happy way. You know, I'm not sort of having a go at anyone. I'm just saying that these people are here and you know, there's a few funny aspects about how they see us and we see them. That's all. Well, that's how it all started, right? When you do, you talk about multiculturalism, I think of Nino Collada and uh, well, oh, they're a weird mob, right? What a but, wonderful movie. Yeah, so you get to laugh at the newcomers and the newcomers are laughing at what the Aussies are and that's how you get to sort of understand each other. At couldn't, couldn't have said it better. <laughs> I bet you could say it funnier. <laughs> uh, and um, how much longer are you going to keep doing this? You're going to keep telling jokes till you drop, right? Well, mate, comics live to a long age. You know, <laughs> you know Milton Berle, Stress release. What was it? Uh, George... Uh, Burns George was Burns, 104. Yeah. Yeah. It was ridiculous. So, uh, Phyllis yeah. Diller. So, yeah, I'm hanging in there, gang. Yeah, you were looking for material all the time when you're, when, when you're in the Uber with Alan Joyce. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're, you're, hitting, you're noticing what he's up to? I tell you, when you get, if you get your finger on the pulse is the letter sections in the papers. You yeah. get wonderful comments from everyday punters. You get to know what the issues are. You get a funny angle on those issues. You get the the Aussie angle is always the best angle, and there's often some pretty good lines in there. Too, yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. And if you like, that's my trick. If you write for the papers like me, there's always some abuse as well, just to keep yeah, you absolutely. in check. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, Vince. Really hey, good to talk to you. Thank uh, you, Chris. Such Appreciate important it. work you do. If you don't laugh at each other, uh, then all you get is being offended, right?